you're in here to talk about local artists, really, from Melksham. Um, and we often talk about people who've gone into a full-time, the sort of people who quit their, dream, their jobs and follow their dreams and mm. make a living out of it. But there's just as many people who do it as a sort of hobby, really, a very fulfilling hobby. And you're from the Carlton Heritage Centre and you've been celebrating that over the last few weeks. Uh, people who maybe have a day job or they're retired, but they are really quite good in if it's the exhibition I remember seeing last year. So John Bennett, is it the exhibition I remember seeing last year? There were lots of wildlife artists. It's not the same exhibition. It's the, it's the same, well, similar group of people. We've right. got some wonderful wildlife artists. Um, Diane Haynes was probably the one that you, you Lots of saw. hair. Yes. As in the ones that bounce about in the field, not the ones yes, that grow out that, of that would be Diane. She's beautiful. Yes. She does a lot of stuff in... Um, Oh, I can't remember what medium Marvelous. she works in. But, yeah, she does some wonderful... We've got Judith Green this year as well. She's another fantastic artist. She's really into detail. And you had a sort of mixed media as well. I remember some yeah. jewellery. Do I remember some jewellery? Or was my wishful thinking some there? Some of the jewellery would have been in the art. Yeah, yeah. OK. This, this year it's mostly um, acrylics, uh, oils and embroidery for the first time this year. Some Ooh. fantastic embroidery. Okay. Is it very difficult to get people to exhibit? No. Um, my job, I work in a local company where we uh, hang curtains and blinds and I get to go around people's houses and I see their artwork and if I see something I like, I, I say, would you be interested? In... Oh, you're a scout as well. I'm a scout, yeah. Ah. But it, it's been very good for us. Um, I, Diane was the first one. Um, we have a lovely chap called uh, Herbert Sandell. He was he had just moved down from Norfolk, and so he had lovely pictures of bleak Norfolk landscapes on his walls. Mm. So I so nabbed him as well. Nabbed him as well. So let's just sort of talk about the Heritage Centre as well, because it is a little gem. I had no idea what was it's behind that quite place. narrow frontage. Mm. Um, is it an old school? No, it's a Carnegie Library. Ah, oh, that's it. That's it. So we we got the medium sized Carnegie Library, and when it moved to its new position, the new library opened. Um, the Heritage Centre opened up, and it's a wonderful space because it's got that glass roof. Very light and airy. Very light and airy. Lovely wooden floor, beautiful wooden floor, mm -hmm. which I expect takes a little bit of looking after. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have some great cleaners as well. Oh, thank goodness for that. Our volunteers are wonderful. Like and that. obviously, a lot about pigs and sausages because that's your great heritage. It's part of our great heritage. We've got lots of things happening in Calm. Um, yeah, I suppose the, the the factory was a big part of our history, but we've got other bits as well. I When I think of Calm, I think of the Poetry Festival. Yeah. Which is very jolly. Yeah, again, Sue. Sue's, Sue's in Sue, charge of Sue that. Boddington, who runs the Heritage Centre, is yeah. that. Uh, of course, um, I think of your wonderful sculptures. Um, and yeah. I did chase some, some pigs around the county earlier in the year, but thank goodness they're back where they belong. Um, but it's well supported, isn't it, the Heritage Centre? It is. Um, basically, we, we try and do stuff that relates to the people that live in the town. So there's lots of pictures of relatives. So people like to come in and see their relatives and stuff like that. Um, and any event that's in the town, we try and participate in. So like the Spring Sing, for example. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um so it's been going a while, this exhibition. We're sort of midway through, are we? We are halfway through, exactly, yeah. yeah. It, we, it's a month. Last year it was the whole of November. We've put it back a bit this year because of the 100th anniversary oh, of, of the end yeah. of World War I. Um, so we're ending on the 16th of December this year. But a great place to buy Christmas presents. They are fantastic to buy for Christmas presents. And, and it's nice. You don't have to pay a lot of money for a piece of good original art, do you? No. We've got some very, I mean, we've got some lovely cards that people have made prints of their work from about £2. There's a lot of work between £20 and £50. So we're very one affordable. Two. Wonderful. One, one or two, a little bit more than that, but then they'd be worth it. So what yeah. time are you open? Uh, we're open uh, Tuesday through to Saturday from 10 till 4. And on Sunday, we're open 2 till 4. Well, thank you. That's John Bennett from the Han Khan, Khan Heritage Centre. Uh, and I can highly recommend it if you want a little bit of an original present, not throw away something that someone can keep and treasure forever, then go along. It's very easy to find in the town.